Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Swamp Fire from Ben 10. Let's start in the middle of our page at the very top. We're going to draw on the eyes. So starting on the left side, we're going to draw a curve coming down in towards the middle. We're going to leave a gap and draw the same thing going up in the opposite direction on the right side, going up. From here, let's draw on the sides of the eye. So from this point on the left, we're going to curve down. And then on the right, we'll do the same thing, curving down. Now we're going to connect the outside towards the inside of the eye with a slight curve going around like that. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now inside the eyes, we're going to draw a little slit. So right in the middle here, I'm just going to draw a little angled line like that. On the right, we'll do the same thing, going up and across. Let's go in between the eyes and draw that large spike. So right in between the eyes, right in here, we're going to start with a little point. From this point, I want to curve over towards the left and up towards the top. Starting at the bottom, we'll curve up and out, and then up to a point. We're going to go down on the opposite side. Starting at the top, we're going to pull the pen towards us, curving out, and then down towards the bottom point. From here, we're going to draw the top edge of the head. So above the left eye here, right about halfway, we're going to curve in behind that spike. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving down above the right eye. We're going to move down the middle and draw in the mouth. So we're going to draw in a small sort of curve from left to right, going across. Now we're going to connect the bottoms with a slight curve, a little flatter curve that goes across like that. Let's draw in the flames on the side of the head. So right underneath this left eye, we're going to start down here and curve up and out. Underneath the right eye, we'll do the same thing. So curving up and out to the same height. Now from here at the top left, we're going to curve back down, going a little bit wider as we come down. We're going to come down to right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving down to right about there. Now from these points, we want to curve up again with a shorter curve. Going up like that. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve this down towards the chin. So the chin we're going to locate down here. So on the left side, curve down towards a pointed chin. We'll go back up on the right side. Curving up like that. From here, we're going to take these points on the inside and just curve them out with a slight curve going up to the sides of the head. Now we're going to take these points and curve right down to that point. So it's going to taper down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now if you have a little gap in between the eye and this little flame, we're just going to fill it in with a small little line. We're going to color and fill in this face black. Let's go back up to the top of the head. I'm going to draw a curve just around the corner of the top eye, up towards this flame in the top. Come down on the right side as well. Now we're going to add two more spikes coming up the side here. So from this corner, we're going to curve up and just about there. We want to go a little bit lower than the top point. Now we're going to curve this back down and behind. On the right side, we're going to start at the top right here, curving up, and we're going to pull that down with a curve towards this point down at the side of the head. Now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. So he's got a pretty thin neck. So just on the side here, we're going to curve down and out. On the right, we're going to curve down and out. So the head goes this way. From this point, we want to curve the shoulders. So from this point, we're going to do a hard turn, curving out. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, we want to add in the big flame on the shoulders. So we're going to start on the bottom here. So just below this line, we're going to step down and draw a little wave that goes up. It's almost like an S shape. We're going to take the top and just curve back down to that point at the bottom. Curving out and then down. On the bottom corners right here, we're going to draw a little curve, a little bracket around that bottom point. Let's do the same thing over here. So we're going to start below this point, step down, we're going to wave around and then up. Then we're going to take that point and curve down to the bottom. Curving around like that. Again, on the bottom corners right here, we're just going to draw a little bracket around the bottom point. Up in this area here, we're going to add another flame. So right here, we're going to draw a curve going up. And then we'll pull that back down behind the shoulder. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So curving up 
and then pulling that back down. Let's go to the side of the body and draw on the shoulders. So right beside this flame, we're gonna continue this curve right here, curving around and then down. On the right, we're just gonna line it up, curving around and then down. Now before we get into the arms, I'm gonna draw in the center of the body. So right underneath these flames, we're gonna step down. On the left side, we'll step down, curve down and in. On the right side, we're gonna step down, curving down and in. Now we're gonna draw in the sides of the ribs coming down towards the waist. So from here, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Slight curve going down and out. Let's add in some of the details here. So underneath the head, on the left side, we're gonna step in and draw a curve coming down towards the center of the chest. And we're gonna curve that back up. I'm tucking that in underneath the head. We're gonna go ahead and fill that in black. Now on the sides here where the neck meets the shoulder, we're gonna start in that corner there, curve down, and then pull that back up. We're gonna fill that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right. So from this corner, we're gonna pull it in and back out. We'll fill that in black. Now in this space here, from this point to that flame, we're gonna step over, curving down. We're gonna round out the tip and then pull this up just beside that flame. We're gonna color this in black as well. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. So stepping over, curving down, we're going to round up the point and curve up the side of the flame, color that in black. In the center of the chest, we're just going to draw in the Omnitrix logo. So just below the bottom of this point, we're going to draw in a circle. And then inside here, we're going to draw in a smaller circle, starting from the top, work our way around the sides to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Now we're going to draw in the two points that come in. So on the left side, we'll come down and in towards the middle, and then back out. We're going to leave a little gap in the center here, and do the opposite. Going in from the right, and then back down. We'll color the sides in here black. Now from here, let's draw a little patch of black on the sides of the ribs. So from this point on the left, we're gonna step down and curve down and in. Do the same thing on the right side, curving down and in. Now we're gonna take these points and curve them towards the hip. So I'm doing a hard turn, curving out. Now we're gonna fill these in with black as well. Now before we draw on the arms, I'm going to work my way down the legs. So in the middle here, just down here, we're going to draw a little curve from left to right, going across for the lower torso. From these hips, we want to curve the outside of the leg down towards the knees. And we're going to locate the knees down to about here. So on the left side, right at this point, we're going to curve out and then down. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving out towards the right and then down. Now in here, we're going to draw on the inside part of the leg. So from this point, we're going to step over towards the right and just draw an angled line coming down, pinching in the knee. Same thing on the right side, stepping over towards the left, draw an angled line coming into a very narrow kneecap area. We're gonna work our way down the calves down to the bottom of the feet. So from the inside of the leg on the left, we're gonna curve in and down. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing, curving down to the same height. Now from the left side again, we're gonna curve in and then back out. On the right, we'll curve in and then back out. We're going to square off the bottom, just drawing two short lines coming down. Okay, let's go back to the left side and draw on this foot. So from this bottom point, I'm just going to draw a short line going across. Now from here, I want to curve up and then back down. Curving up and then back down. We're going to square off this toe with a short straight line. Now from here, I want to curve up and out towards the left. We're going to overlap a line here. So we're going to step down and curve down again. From this bottom point, we want to square off the toe again. And we're going to curve back up, just with a short curve like that. We're going to do a little overlap. So stepping down from that point, we'll curve out. So there's a little gap at the bottom here. Now we're going to square off that toe again. 
is draw a short curve going up the side of the foot, going up here. Now from this point, I want to curve the outside of the leg. Now I want to make the leg quite wide. I'm going to bring it up to the same height as I have on this point on the inside. So from here, I'm going to curve in, and then just come up to about the same height. And then from this point, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction towards the knee. In between these toes, I just want to draw a curve going across like that. So there's a slight overlap of the toe going all the way across. We're going to fill those inside areas in black. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start with the inside first with that short line. Now we're going to draw that curve. Curve going up and then down. And square off the toe with a short straight line. Now we're going to curve up to right about there. We're going to step down and do an overlap and curve down. And square off that toe again. Now we're going to work our way up. Going up with a short curve. We'll step down from that point and curve outwards. Again, doing a short straight line across. Now we're doing the side of the leg, the foot, going up with a curve. Now we want to draw a curve going in and up. So from this point we're going to curve in, come up to the same height as that point. Now we're going to reverse the curve going right in towards that knee. Now again, in between these toes, we're going to draw a little curve, leaving a little slight overlap of the toes. Now let's go ahead and fill those in black. Let's go back up here and finish off the arms. So we're going to start on the left side here. We're going to draw another flame in the shoulder area. So basically that same curve, we're going to draw just below this point. Stepping down, we'll draw that curve going up. Now we're going to take that point and curve back down to the bottom. Curving back to the bottom. Now again, we're going to draw those little brackets around the bottom point, like that. On the outside of the arm, just beside this bracket, we're going to draw an angled line coming down towards the elbow. Now on the inside of the arm, he's got some pretty narrow arms. So we're going to start up here, we're going to curve in, so it's a little bit lower than that outside point, and just going to draw an angled line aiming towards that point there. Let's draw on the inside part of the arm. So stepping up, we'll curve out and down. Now we're going to draw a curve in the opposite direction down towards the wrist, right about there. Let's go back to the outside of the arm and draw this side. So the arm starts out wide and comes into a very narrow wrist line. So we're going to start at this point. I'm going to basically aim with a curve down towards the wrist, but along the way, I'm going to have to draw these little spikes. So overlapping this line, I'm going to draw a curve going up, and then I'm going to pull that back out and then in, leaving a slight gap. Now again, I'm going to continue this curve going in towards the wrist, stopping there. We draw another spike. So overlapping that line, and then curving back around and in. Then again, we're going to continue this line in behind and down to there. We're going to add a couple spikes in between these two spikes. So right here, we'll curve up and then curve that back down. We'll add one more just along the wrist line here. Like that. And then we'll add one in the inside of the arm. So right here, we're just going to draw a straight line going up. We'll curve around, leaving a gap at the bottom. For the hands, I'm just going to draw some simple claws. So from this point, we're going to angle out and in. We're going to round out the thumb, curving around like that. We're going to pull that back up so it tapers. It gets a little bit wider up into this part of the hand. Now let's draw on the fingers. So we're going to curve down. Now we're going to pull that back up. So again, it gets wider as we come up. Around halfway down this curve, we're going to curve down the second finger. Pull that back up. Now again, right here, we're going to step down. Curve the pinky. Now we're going to connect that point to the wrist with a simple curve. We're going to add one little spike at the upper arm here. So one curve going up, and then we'll pull that back in. All right, now let's take that arm and flip it over and do the same thing on the right side. So here, let's start with the inside part of the arm first. So stepping down to here, we're going to curve down towards that elbow point right here. I'm just going to draw a short little angled line going out. Now right here, we're going to draw on that flame. So stepping down from that point, we'll draw that little wave going up. 
We'll connect those two points with a curve going outside, back in. We draw a little bracket around the bottom point. Now for the outside of the arm, right beside this bracket, we're going to draw a straight angled line coming down. Now let's draw the inside part of the arm. We're going to step up, curving around the forearm. Now coming down with a curve towards the wrist. I want to make sure that they're lined up on the inside. Now going back up here, we're going to draw the outside part of the arm. So again, from this point, curving down towards that wrist. But again, along the way, we're drawing a spike going up. We'll pull that back around. Continuing this curve down to right about there. We'll overlap it with another curve. And then the back side of that spike. And now again, continuing that curve down to that narrow wrist. In between, we're gonna add in the spikes. So curving up, pulling that back in. We'll add one down here. And then inside the forearm, we're gonna draw an angled line going up. And we'll curve that back around. For the claws, again, from this wrist line, we're gonna angle out like we did on the left. Curve around the thumb. And then we'll curve that back up. Now the fingers are gonna layer in. So curving down to the first finger. We're gonna pull that back up. Coming down about halfway, curve the second finger that back up and then stepping down again for the third finger down here we curve and meet up with the wrist line curving up like that and to finish this off we're just going to add some veins along the body so starting down here we can just draw some random straight edge lines going up like that do a couple random ones along here now they don't have to connect to a point up on the outside I'm just gonna go like that up here I'm just gonna go across up in the thighs we draw a curve like this, go up, and then right here we'll curve down and to the side of the leg. In here in the chest, just draw some angled lines, maybe a few of them like that. And then a couple more in the lower part of the abdomen like this. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Swamp Fire from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send your requests in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.